What's up, YouTube? So, today, I was watching this video. Uh, gotcha Smack called out, uh, excuse me, Gotcha Smack called Tectone out hard. And uh, it's an hour and something long. And I haven't watched the entire thing, but I watched a good chunk of it. And Tectone's basically like, I don't want to do this because I don't want to, you know, basically be arguing with a, a friend over this because he thinks it's stupid because why would anybody be able to disagree that um, Capcom or, excuse me, uh, Zenless Zone Zero X, Zenless, or excuse me, Zenless Zone Zero X Street Fighter 6 is not the best um collab so he was saying that it's it's a good one but it's not the best that it could have been and that when spending the money when Hoyo versus spending their money for a crossover that it could be better and uh more efficient and and he was saying that he should be I from what I can gather, he should. He's basically saying that if you're going to market the game to someone, you should be marketing it to gotcha game players, because gotcha game players are guaranteed to want to play the gotcha games, because gotcha game players like gotcha games, and fighting game players like fighting games, but fighting game players don't really care about gotcha games because gotcha games aren't as hardcore as a fighting game. And just because one game is not as hardcore as another game doesn't mean that that type of a fighting game player would not enjoy just as much other types of games. And it's, and it's, and it, it, the only reason why it upsets me is because it feels like, it was like, all right, Gotcha Smack was talking about this. And I was like, yo, I was thinking the same thing. Everything he was saying, I was like, oh, this, I was thinking exactly the same thing. Like, this is a great collab, especially it being Street Fighter. This is a great collab. And if they do it right, it would be amazing. If they were to put a Street Fighter character like Cammy or Kimberly or something like that, somebody from, um, like a character from Street Fighter and put them into Zenless Zone Zero in their art style, it would be so cool. Or even just have a character that uh, references a Street Fighter character in their game. Maybe like kind of dresses like them, uses the same color scheme, has similar moves, right? And have this character or have skins for the characters where uh, they have another character that is dressed up as another character from Zelda Zone Zero, or excuse me, dressed up as another character from Street Fighter, like that would be really cool. And to think that there's Tectone who thinks that not enough fighting game players will be interested in Zelda Zone Zero and it is a waste of their money to do it doesn't make any sense to me. Because I feel like if there are people who don't know Zenless Zone Zero even exists, those are the best people to market to. Because if they don't even know the game exists, but you know that they would probably have a fat overlap, right, with that game, like they would, like, they, you know that that demographic of people would probably be interested in the game, but they don't know the game exists, that would be a great crossover. Like, there are plenty of fighting game players that cross over with anime and gacha games. And if there are a bunch of people that are in the fighting game space that don't really keep up with gacha games, right? Just like I am sure that the people in the gacha game space don't keep up with fighting games. But the difference is, is that gacha game players most likely wouldn't be that interested in fighting games, but I do think that fighting game players would be interested in playing the gotcha games. 
because fighting game players are going to play gotcha games as a side game because they don't have to play against people, right? They don't have to play against people. They just get on, do their dailies, right? They, and they get to do cool combos. They get to build teams just like they do with their character. How, do, how can you make a team broken? How can you put together a team doing, doing combos, pairing things, and, and, and having a lot of fun with it? Whereas, like, a gotcha game player usually is going to play alone by themselves. Maybe PvP gotcha game players might like fighting games. But most likely, PvP gotcha game players were probably fighting game players first. Probably. That's just how I can see it. I want to I wanna go through this video and uh, and check this out because... It's it's frustrating. I watched half of this half of this video. Half of it. And um it's frustrating. It it is very frustrating. Finances <sighs> on making the All right, guys, you have sufficiently me off. Great. The YouTube comments and the Twitch comments actually me off. You've provoked me into watching this video. Really didn't want to have to make a video against is... my friend really this didn't want to do that video. whatsoever but i guess we'll just do it because people think i'm dodging them wanted to attempt to be the bigger man but hey i guess we'll just do it again here's what i think this entire video is about and maybe i'm wrong this is the reason why i didn't deem it but like you would have in order for you to he says maybe i'm wrong and i feel like he used a bunch of defenses that were just like not real or unfair or just kind of like not even try to hear where somebody who is actually a fighting game player is coming from and why this is a good thing because if you don't know like if you're not in the fighting game community how could you tell or how could you tell what a fighting game player would like how how would you even have a like a, a an understanding of what somebody from the fighting game community would like if you have not spent a lot of time around fighting game players or in the fighting game community. I just don't understand. Like that's, that's like literally like me telling you or anyone in the gotcha community, what a gotcha game player would like. And I said earlier that I think that gotcha game players who play PVP might be, have been fighting game players first, but that's, that's just me, you know, inferring, but like I'm in the fighting game community and I spent a lot of time here and a lot of around a lot of people. And I know, and I've, heard so many things and i've seen so many things in the community of, of people that watch anime tons of people watch anime and talk about anime there are some people that know whole, a whole ton about anime just as much as you tech tone and all these other people anime is definitely a larger thing but like even within anime within anime there's there's separation there's so much separation in anime so like just because using near automata it, because it's an anime style like hack and slash game like maybe maybe but that doesn't mean that like it would be the best and, and maybe you you know what people might be getting tired of seeing 2B there's been so many collabs with 2B and then you have so many co like so many collabs with 2B. 2B has been in fighting games and she's been in gotcha games. I don't know any other collabs that 2B has done. But if they've been in fighting games and gotcha games, I would assume that if you, you know, if you put some fighting game characters in a gotcha game, they that probably would bring in people too. A lot of people. But Near Automata is actually a very niche title. Do you think Nier Automata is a larger game than Street Fighter 6? I don't I don't think Nier Automata is a larger game than Street Fighter 6. I really don't. Then Street Fighter as a whole actually. Street Fighter has existed for much longer and it is and it resonates with so many more people than than Nier Automata does. Like, even worth watching is that I think money could have been spent better else using a different game that would have better crossover.
in what game? That's what I want to know. What game? What game? Because he said he said to be or somebody in chat I think said to be while he was streaming and he was like, "Yeah, that would be pretty good." But what is what would be the other game? Or is saying another game putting you out there for people to be like, "Nah, that ain't it, and that's not what you you don't want to be able to be told that you're wrong at all. So you stick to very vague and general concepts when you're talking about this, at least. I'm not going to say everything, anything else, but like when you're talking about this fighting game thing, you stick to very general and vague things so that it's like, okay, fighting game players like fighting games. You can't dispute that. Yes, they do. Gotcha game players like gotcha games. Yes, you cannot dispute that. They play gotcha games. What you can dispute is that fighting game players don't necessarily like fighting games. You know why? Because there are some people in the fighting game community that play one style of game on fighting game. There are some people who play NRS games. They're fighting game players, but they don't play Marvel they don't play Street Fighter. They don't play any other games besides NRS games. Those are the games that they play. Then you have people who play Street Fighter and Marvel who don't play NRS games or anime games. Then you have people who play Tekken, Street Fighter, and, and, uh, and you, you have people who play NRS games, Capcom games, and that's it. They don't fuck with any other games. They don't play anime games. Then you have people who play anime games and don't play anything else. So fighting game players don't just like fighting games. They like specific types of games, specific types of fighting games. So marketing, even within the fighting game community, marketing a anime game to someone who plays Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat does not guarantee that, if you, especially if it's somebody that plays Mortal Kombat, if you're marketing your anime game to somebody who plays Mortal Kombat, you're not guaranteed that that might just be a, a dead in the water. Because anybody that plays just NRS games is not playing anything else. They might most sooner play Street Fighter than play an anime game. Because Street Fighter is closer to Mortal Kombat than an anime game. There are so many different styles of games. And then you have the people who are talking about Smash isn't in, isn't a fighting game, and that's a whole nother thing within the fighting game community where some people in the fighting game community are like, no, it's not a fighting game. And then you have people like me who's like, yes, yes, it is. It is a fighting game. There are characters. They fight. Same thing with gotcha games. Just because somebody plays gotcha games doesn't guarantee that that person is going to want to play this new action fighting game. I mean, excuse me, this action gotcha game. Some gotcha game players might like turn-based gotcha games, tactics-style gotcha games, like Fire Emblem and shit. They may, they may like the tactical style. They may like turn-based gotcha games, games where they don't have to, you know, do combos and do, you know, complicated things because to some of those players who play casually or do whatever, they don't want to do combos and jump around and run around on a the field. They don't want to do all that. A friend of mine literally didn't play Wuthering Waves because he's like, look, I don't even want to play. I don't even want to mess with Wuthering Waves. He was going to. He signed up to play it. But he was like, I don't even really feel like playing Wuthering Waves because I, I don't want the open world. I don't want to add a game where I'm playing open world right now. It's not that he don't like the game at all. It's just that, you know, I, don't, I just don't want the open world right now. I'm kind of waiting for Z He was waiting for Zenless Zone Zero. Also a fighting game player. Or, excuse me, a uh, ex-fighting game player. He, he was very, very good at fighting games. And he just decided he didn't want to play fighting games anymore. Kind of tired of it. After a while. So he's, you know, he plays shooters. He, he plays mostly shooters now. And, uh, you know, plenty of other ty types of games. Puzzle games he likes. I think rhythm games too. And he's, he likes gacha games. He plays, he's been playing, uh, you know, gacha games a lot more than I have been playing gacha games. He played Tower of Fantasy a lot more than I've touched Tower of Fantasy. You know, so there's just there's definitely a lot of overlap. And it's like, I don't know how many I don't know how many people you need to see that 
want to play the game until you realize that it is a very large overlap with fighting games in the fighting game community. Like I, I don't I don't know. Especially especially a Capcom game. Like if it was Mortal Kombat players that they were aiming at, maybe not. But that is a small niche that is a niche of the fighting game community. Well, Mortal Kombat actually Mortal Kombat actually has a lot of a lot of players in it. Mortal Kombat has a lot of players in it. Tekken has a lot of players in it. I can see a lot of Tekken players wanting to maybe play Zenless Zone Zero or other action, you know, style gotcha games. So like if you market to a demographic that probably likes that style of game, but doesn't know the game exists, and then when introduced to the game, they're like, oh, this looks kind of crazy. This looks cool. I can see that happening. I can't see that happening with, like, if they were marketing towards Call of Duty. Like, oh, we're going to put a Call of Duty character. We're going to put a Call of Duty character in Zenless Zone Zero. I'd be like, what? Why? Why? Why Call of Duty? This doesn't make any sense. Even though there are probably a bunch of Call of Duty players that play gotcha games. But it just does, it doesn't, it doesn't seem to make any sense. There's no, like, I don't see the correlation, right? Maybe there is somebody out there who's, who, who could be like, oh, no, there's actually a lot of fucking shooter, shooting game players that will really fuck with Zillow Zone Zero. But like I said, I can't see it because I'm not a part of that community. But the fact that you're not a part of the fighting game community trying to tell somebody from the fighting game community that fighting game players wouldn't like Zillow Zone Zero is, is insane for similar value. I think Nier Automata could have been a better crossover. <sighs> That's all that I'm saying. Gotcha smack. I feel like this video. Even if it was, why can you not see where somebody who is from fighting games, from, like, who is a fighting game player? Who is an avid fighting game player? A massive fighting game player? Why would you not at least be able to understand where he's coming from when he's trying to, like, defend his house? You know, is going to say, hey, Tech. I think fighting games are a little bit more interested in anime games than you might think. I have a feeling by the end of this 33-minute video... There are literal, literal anime fighting games. Literally. There are anime fighting games. I'm not talking about Zelda Zone Zero. We're not talking about gotcha games. I'm talking about literal anime games. Persona 4 Ultimate. Guilty Gear. Like, these are literal anime games. So many other anime games that I don't even know because I don't play them all. There's like, dude, I, I can't even tell you because I'm, I, what, what is the other thing? Melty Blood. Anime. So many other anime games. Anime, fi anime fighting games. But I don't play anime. That, that is a whole nother section of fighting games. So I, I would assume that the people who play anime fighting games would be interested in the anime style gotcha games. Any other anime style of like games. Like there, there definitely could be crossover there. But even the people who are that do not play anime games are interested in anime. Street Fighter is not an anime style game. Street Fighter is a classic 2D game. Tekken is a 3D game. Smash Brothers is a platform fighting game. These are all fighting games, different genres in the fighting game community. Video react. None of that's going to change. People don't grasp the fact that two people can be separately justified in what they both think. And we could call it a day, but for some reason, people think I'm dodging this video. So I will react. I guarantee you my opinion won't change. And you can, you can, you can definitely be justified in the fact. So like if Tech Tone 
has a publishing company and he knows more about it from the publishing side and what he's looking for in the uh from the from the from the eyes of a like publisher and like a uh, corporate side right what they're looking for why would you not listen to the side of people who are interested in your game and saying yes this is what we like why would you not listen to that Why would you go off of an assumption, right? Where it's like, oh, well, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be super, super safe, even though we have a huge demographic of players. Like if Hoyle, Hoyleverse is not a new company making a game. If Hoyleverse was a new company, right, and this was their first gotcha game, and they needed to make their gotcha game win. They needed, they needed it to win in the beginning. They needed to make it work. Because they, if they didn't, then they would be, they would be done, and they would be like, shit out of luck. They would be like, they would be done. That is not the case for Hoyoverse. This collab will not make or break Hoyoverse. It is a great collab. They don't need a better. They don't need an optimal collab. Because they have the money. That even if this collab was dead in the water. It would still be okay because then they could do the other collab later. They could do the they could do two B as a second collab. They could do near automata as a second collab. They could do Street Fighter. They could like and to 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 see how to uh, see if the if it's warm and see it see how people like it. And if you and if you could do the best collab, why would you do your best collab first? So even if it's not the best, why would you use your best collab first? And then follow it up with less than the best collabs. Why would you do what is the best thing first when you don't need to do the best thing first for you to succeed? Now, if you were a new company, put your best foot forward first to make sure that you have a, a, an install base that is huge and then test things out later on. Hoyoverse doesn't need to test things out. They don't need to. They don't need to make sure that they. Hoyoverse can test whatever they want out. Is what I'm saying. They don't need to have um, the best thing first for Zenless Zone Zero. They don't need to be completely optimal on their very first collab. I think you would find that fighting game players are probably more, uh, more passionate about their fighting game. And their characters in the fighting game, the people that they main, because I, I think I can. That's the only thing I can think of is is uh, that a main in a game where it's like there are more people in fighting games. I think that will main a character and stay playing that character for very, very, very long periods of time over the course of multiple games that come out. So if their character gets released in another game. They're going to check that game out. If I played Cammy for eight years, and I played Cammy from Street Fighter Street Fighter Four all the way up and through Street Fighter Six, if Cammy comes out in Zenless Zone Zero, don't you think I'm going to check it out? Especially if she looks cool, if she's doing a bunch of cool combos and cool shit next to other characters, and I'm like, "Yo, this game's kind of sick." Don't you think I would check that out? Don't you think that those people would just pull that character regardless? I guarantee you at the end of this video we're both going to be justified and uh, even though I I'm not going to make it through really this whole video try hard to not have to this video is going to be this video because I really don't feel good after having to react to hex juice and legions and bitching them out it didn't feel good at all I guess we'll watch this but if you pardon me I'm going to put this in 1.25 speed that way it's a little bit quicker because I know for a fact my opinion is not going to change two of my favorite quotes that um, I love to use, and I think it's quite befitting of this situation. Sure. The first quote is, it is better to remain silent and be thought a fool than to speak and remove all doubt of being thought a fool. Meaning once you open your mouth, you are a goddamn fool. There's no doubt about it. The other quote, it comes from Jack Ma, uh, a Chinese billionaire, I believe. Uh, his says, it is not dishonorable to say I don't know when asked to speak on a subject matter you just don't know about, you don't know enough about. It is in fact dishonorable when you speak up and pretend you know that which you do not. 
these two things are what come to mind when I go into this subject. Uh, I actually am a bit baffled that it's even controversial because it should be a no-brainer that Zenless Zone Zero collaborating with Capcom is absolutely the best collaboration to do. There's just no question about it. There is a question about it. That's that's just wrong. It's just you you can't you can't say that it is just the number one collab. You just can't. Okay. And and, and if that's the case, then you can't you can't say that Two B or Near Automata is the best collab either. How can you say Near Automata is the best collab, or you could just say that it's better than Street Fighter? But how do you know that? If you don't know, if you don't know what street, if you don't know what uh, fighting game players or Street Fighter players actually like, the reasons why they actually like the game, and the reasons why they are drawn toward fighting games or Street Fighter in general, why do you think that you? Then what makes you think that somebody from near like near automata is such a smaller smaller group of people the people who enjoy near automata and 2b are i guarantee a much smaller group of people than the amount of people who like and follow street fighter as a whole you cannot sit here and tell me that near automata is a larger subsection of like people than street fighter is even Street Fighter alone, and not even fighting game players, Street Fighter alone is larger than Nier. Because the crossover for a strict fighting game, when, when you do collaborations, you want to ensure that the guaranteed crossover is there, and you... And, you, and it is. It is. It, it 100% is. You don't need to... the, the uh, the fighting game it doesn't need to it doesn't need to be a strict fighting game in order to garner attention from fighting game players. You ensure per dollar spent, you understand that the audiences have a higher chance to cross over. The audience has the super biggest chance to cross over. There are so many people. That would check out Zenless Zone Zero because Zenless Zone Zero is filled within the, the battle hub of Street Fighter 6. If they were to put Zenless Zone Zero in the battle hub of Street Fighter 6, because that's how they do crossovers in Street Fighter 6, mm -hmm. they fill the battle hub where all of the casual players hang out and fight with their avatars in the middle of the place and then get skins from the shop in the corner of the battle hub that will probably have Zenless Zone Zero skins for your avatar. They will buy those, fight each other in the, in the battle hub with them, walk around, sit down at arcade cabinets, talk to each other, and chat, and then talk about, oh, yo, I, yo I'm going to try, did anybody try out Zen Zone Zero? Oh, this game is kind of sick. Oh, no, nah, I guess I'll download it. I guess I'll try it out. Like, people will talk about it in the battle hub and go try out Zen Zone Zero. And it doesn't, it doesn't fight with each other. They don't fight with each other. People are not going to quit Street Fighter for Zen Zone Zero. They're going to play both the games. And it's not going to feel like, oh, it's too much. It's like, oh, okay, I'm done playing Street Fighter for the day. Let me go hop on Zillow Zone Zero and do my dailies. That's how it's going to be. This is the reason why you get platformer streamers to play other platformer games. Why do you need, why do you need, like, why would you need why would you need gacha game players to play the gacha game so that other gacha game players play the gacha game? Now, granted, if you're a gacha game player and you're playing the gacha game, they don't need they don't need to market to gacha game players. Wouldn't that doesn't that make sense? If if they're making a gacha game and they know all the big creators are going to be playing their new gacha game. Why do they need to market to the gacha game players when the large creators that they know are going to be playing the game and the people that they're sponsoring and, and, and paying to play the game are going to do that for them? All the people, the Hoyo, all the Hoyo cucks, right, are going to play the gacha game, they're going to play Zenla Zone Zero, and they're going to slob all over Zenla Zone Zero because they're getting paid for it as a sponsor. 
That's the marketing. That's all they they that's they could do that. They've already, they've been doing that. So then you then you, they're like, okay, well let's do a collab with Street Fighter, and then we're, we'll market we'll do the marketing to the Street Fighter community and the fighting game community as a whole, and then bring on people that may not have even known that Zenless Zero, Zone Zero existed, but would most likely be interested in the game. Because it's much better for crossover. It is. And this is the reason why when I run Mad Mushroom, which is a video game publishing company, that is the reason why you would want to sponsor games that are similar but not the same, especially if they're all... Street Fighter and Zenless Zone Zero are similar games, but not the same. They are not both fighting games. I... I, I don't know, I don't know how that's not, I don't know how that's not, that doesn't make any sense. I don't know how, I don't know how you could say that gotcha game, the, the, not even gotcha games, just Zen Zone Zero is not similar to a fighting game. Like, when, when, as a fighting game player, right, the things I think about when I get hit by a move are the hitboxes, frame data, timing, how active is my move, how active is the enemy's move. Um, can I, can I parry, like say for instance in, in, in Wuthering Waves, how active is my attack and what attack should I use that is the most active so that their hitbox runs into my, my their, their hurtbox runs into my hitbox so that I can get the parry off at the correct time. Because then the the more active my my move is, right? That that means the sooner I can I can use it as the circle is closing so that when a circle closes, my active hitbox is on top of them and it triggers the parry. Other people who are not fighting game players are only looking to time their attack with the circle closing. Specifically, they're not thinking about how active is the hitbox on my attack? They're thinking about when this closes, I need to press the button or I need to press the button this soon before this. It's, it's the same thing, but it's thought of differently between a fighting game player and somebody who is not a fighting game player. Because I guarantee you people who are not fighting game players are not thinking about hitboxes. The only other, the only other game that I've seen people talking about like hitboxes and how they use their hitboxes to get further in the game is Elden Ring so far. Maybe in other Souls games, people do look at hitboxes, but it's like he mentions how fighting games have a crossover with like the Souls games because they're hard and there's timing and, they're, and people talk about hitboxes and active frames and all that kind of stuff. Like, you think about games differently when you're a fighting game player, even if it's not a fighting game. Which means you can enjoy things because some of the stuff you take from fighting games will cross over with other games. Also not competitive. And I'm only three minutes you into get this, people dude. to I... play a live service game when they're like, you know, for example, Nier Automata is a game you play once and then you can play a live service game because they won't compete because, well, they're not operating at the same time. Yes, that is, the, that is exactly the same thing. Dude, you you just said the same thing that you can do with gotcha games and in fighting games. You can have a fighting game that you play and they don't compete. I literally just said that earlier because people will go check out Zenless Zone Zero and play it, and people are not going to quit Street Fighter to play Zenless Zone Zero, but they will definitely play both of them because they're not competing for your time. It's like I'm going to play Street Fighter, I'm going to play fighting games, and then I'm going to go and do my dailies on Zenless Zone Zero as a casual player. Me, not me specifically, because I intend to play a lot of. I play, I'm going to play all of Zenless Zone Zero. I want to. I want to. I want to play it as hard as I can. But I also have to play fighting games. I also have to play Street Fighter and Tekken up until the 18th of of next month, in or the 22nd of next month, because I'm going to Evo. So it's like I'm going to be playing Zenless Zone Zero and Wuthering Waves while I'm away at Evo. 
I'm not gonna just put it off on on the on the shelf and never touch it until I come back because I enjoy playing the game. And when I'm not playing fighting games, I'll be playing Zenless and Wuthering. Time. When you take a look at Zenless on Zero and you have extensive knowledge and experience as a fighting. Okay, so let's just take that for what it is. That is just simply not true. If you want to know why I'm in a bad mood, it's because I really don't like doing shit like this. I really don't enjoy doing anything like this whatsoever. Okay? But for example, if you wanted to guarantee an audience of people that like burgers, you would sponsor people who you know already like burgers. But if the people already like the burgers and they already know about the burgers, they don't need to be marketed to because those motherfuckers are going to go try the burgers anyway. Why waste your money marketing to the burger people that are going to go try the burgers anyway? It's like, oh, I heard a new burger place is in town. Maybe I should go try out their burgers because I like burgers. To try more burgers, not take a risk and try to get people who like salads to try a burger. Why would you not take a risk when you aren't really risking anything? Why, why would you not take a risk on a, a, a group of people that you have a very good feeling that would really like the game? And then you have, you know, the social media to go and, and, and check out and, and look at to see mm, what's, what's the consensus on fighting game players in Zenless Zone Zero. What, is, what are most people saying? What is the trend with uh, fighting game players talking about Zenless Zone Zero? What is their, or do they like it? Do they not like it? You know, do more people like it than, than, than dislike it, right? Like you could, you could do that. Or you could, you could see, okay, well, we can try this out because I think there's pretty much overlap, right? We could try it out and they can have a, a, a live stream and talk about it, right? And then judge how, how deep do they want to go into this collab? Because it wasn't even labeled as a collab. It's just a round table. They didn't say that they would be collabing at all. So what if they're using the round table to judge how well this is received? And if it's received well enough, they actually do a collab. They go in on doing a collab because they have enough money to do it. They have enough money to go, oh, let's try this. It's fucking Hoyleverse. burger right that's why you do that okay well, let's just continue then don't no I've, 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 I'm already pissed off I'll just be real with you. I don't even feel like reacting to this because I know nothing's gonna fucking change in game community player and you know the origins of Capcom and the inspirations and the pioneer uh, that they are for many different genres it's it's a no-brainer that this collaboration is absolutely one of the best ways to market their video game seeing as their video game as a it's a good way it's not the best way and that's the entire argument number it doesn't need to be the best way. Why does it need why does it need to be the best way? Why can't you why can't you see where Gotcha Smack is coming from? Why can't you see where a fire a fighting game player is coming from? And and just agree that like, hey, maybe maybe there is more interest. Maybe this is a better option than I initially thought it was. It may not be the best option overall option but how can you actually know what the best overall option is why would you waste your like i said why would you waste your money advertising to a group of people that you already know is going to try your game out anyway wouldn't you want to make your wouldn't you want to widen you want to widen the amount of people that are probably going to play your game you want to widen the amount of people so that when new people are playing the game then they go then they get their friends into it they tell other people, they might tell other people that are not in the fighting game community, right? Because they didn't know about it at first, then it'll, it'll spread. It'll spread better if you get a, a group of people that don't know about the game, but would probably be interested in playing the game based on the way it looks and, and all that kind of stuff, right? And, and the, the mechanics in the game and stuff like that. It would just, it just makes sense. You don't have to you don't have to be super safe when you have billions of dollars, millions of dollars. Whatever you have enough money to do what you're doing and make this game and sponsor all these different creators 
to just just talk well, talk good about your game. You've got enough people. You've got enough people. Number of overlaps with Capcom. Uh, now, if you're not aware of the- It has overlaps, but not the most overlaps. It's overlaps. Yeah, it does. That doesn't mean it's a bad collab. That means you're uninformed. I'm and pretty sure it does. It's not a bad collab. It's just not the most efficient collab. Speak on it. You should probably- It is. Zip your mouth. It's a better, it's a better collab than, than, uh, it's a better collab. It's a more efficient collab than Near Automata. I, I gave, I, I'm telling you. Near Automata is not as big as Street Fighter. It's just not. Now- that's going to come off as a shot because Tekton disagreed with me. And I know the majority of y'all know we are well acquainted. Uh, we barely disagreed. I Tekton, somebody I broke bread with, uh, somebody I love, who is actually a dear friend to me in the content creator space. Oh, this is not an attack on my brother. In fact, this is why I don't even want to react to this. I, I don't know what the fuck he was waffling about. I don't know if he woke up on the, on the wrong side of the bed that day or just didn't activate his brain in the moment. Uh, I will say when he streams, he does everything pure improvisation off the top, which is still to me very impressive to do. Yeah. Um, I, I want to give a little bit of context here. I made a video about Street Fighter and Capcom's collaboration, and I spoke about it in honestly a quite objective manner. This was not the kind of video you disagree with or becomes controversial, despite me being a very controversial figure in the gotcha space due to my strong opinions and my against the grain takes often at times. I expect me to be controversial a number of times because how I am. Not with this though. This was not one of those videos. This is the kind of video where you just like speak positively of it and think about the, uh, you know, the psychology behind the marketing tactics and what they're trying to achieve and tap into, which is the fighting game audience. Uh, but somehow, the gotcha community, not everybody, a number of people though, found a way to make this a negative situation. And I just feel like that is the most wild shit to, to make this. Like, how did you even do that? That's impressive. But again, somebody who I respect with a degree of intelligence is supporting this uh, perspective and they're on the other side of the fence, which is why I have to address it because it, it's gotten public. He didn't upload it to his personal channel. Uh, I think I think the more tech tone channel. Yeah, that's the other thing. I, I didn't even feel comfortable uploading this shit on my- You didn't feel comfortable because it, it's a terrible take. Like it's, a, it's terrible. Like, it's just, it, it, let me not say it's a terrible take. It's a lazy take. It is the laziest take to be like, yeah, it's just not the best. It's not the best collab. It could be better. It's just a lazy take. And then to say that, yeah, they, they, they shouldn't do this. It's a waste of their money. It's not efficient enough. They should have done something else. And then say near Automata would be a better, and it would be a better collab and have a, a bigger crossover. Why would Near Automata have a bigger crossover? Why? It is a niche game. It is one game. It don't even have multiple games. How do you think that a game that has existed since what 1992 or something like that until now? has more crossover or excuse me doesn't have more crossover than near automata like how 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 does a game that has existed since 1992 not have more crossover than near automata because because fighting game players like very intricate and detailed and hardcore combos and pvp like is that, is that why if that's the only reason why you think that people like fighting games is that's crazy like there, there's, there's that, and there's other, other things. Like there's just other things. Like I've said them. Gotcha Smack has said them. My main channel, right? Because I was asked to talk about it, and so I talked about it on stream, and then I thought that would just be the end of it, and then my editor took it and uploaded it to More Tech Done, which, to be fair, the video did quite good. But uh, I don't know why people are so upset about this. Like I'll tell you why people are upset about this. Fighting game players are upset about this, and people that watch you that uh, usually agree with you on stuff. You're 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 telling the you're telling us the fighting game players that we don't like what we like. You're 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 literally telling fighting game players that they don't like Zenla Zone Zero for no reason. You're, you're, you're telling us that it's not a good, it's, or excuse me, it's not the best collab for no reason. But also not even, not even, uh, like, like looking at it and being like, okay, well, you know, I can see where they're coming from and why this is. And, and the fact that there are so many people talking about it and coming forward about it and, and, you know, agreeing with 
with Gotcha Smack and and commenting on the community post and and backing him about it is because we want to we want you to hear us and be like, okay, well maybe you know maybe there is something to this. Maybe it's not maybe it's not as you know empty a collab as I thought it was gonna be. Because for you to sit here and say that fighting game players don't like or don't like gotcha games for one don't think it's a very good collab because you you there's not a very high chance of people crossing over into zenless zone zero is ridiculous because there are so many fighting game players that are already crossed over into gotcha games it doesn't even make any sense Like I, I don't know, it's just it's just tiring. This is the I I really don't like feuding with Gotcha Smack because I actually really like this guy. I really do, and I know people are gonna get pissed off, but it is what it is. This is one of these dramas that I just don't feel like doing at all. But we'll, we'll continue. It was not even ran by him; somebody else did. But he did go on stream and say this shit and say I made a bad take. Of course, we're gonna defend that. We're gonna explain why not only Tekton is ignorant, but why a lot of you motherfuckers is ignorant. So let's go ahead and get into it and watch his reaction. Sure. Before I start the video, I want to make this explicitly clear. Uh, the premise of this argument is that fighting game players don't care about gotcha games. That's the premise. Of the argument no the premise of the argument is that fighting game players don't care as much as other games player could what other games it in near automata is not a good one it, compared to street fighter near automata is not better as a collab than street fighter near automata has one character one character in it that people care about to be you could put A2 in there. I know who A2 is and 9S, right? I don't play the game. I've not played through the game. I've played the game for probably a day and not beaten it, not really gotten super into the game, don't really know the lore. But I think 2B is cool. 9S don't really care about. A2 don't really care about. And I think there's like maybe one other character. I'm not sure. But 2B is the only character that anybody cares about from Near Automata. So when you have Street Fighter, with a long history of characters and, and, and tons of characters that are, are being brought out as DLC and currently running, right, with, with the world tournament for, for Street Fighter coming up that could possibly have announcements for characters in Zenla Zone Zero or have something there at the event where Zenla Zone Zero has a booth or have announcements for Street Fighter that get people hype, right? There, there could be, and then, and also to know that, like, there are, now, I don't think they would do this for Zenless Zone Zero, because it doesn't really have, like, too much of a, um, uh, they don't have any history, like, Zen Zenless Zone Zero doesn't have any history yet for them to take one of their characters, because it's a brand new game, and put them in Street Fighter. I don't think that would happen, but I think that they could have a Street Fighter character and put them in Zenless Zone Zero. So, it's just, like, Dude, there's it's it's so good. Once again, I would like to state this for the last time. This isn't about the collab being bad. It that there could be better collabs to do, and the recommendation would have been a near automata one, the one that would have been, you know, the one that's used all the time. Yeah, just because they use it all the time doesn't mean that it's good. Just because it's used all the time doesn't mean oh excuse me, doesn't mean that it's the best one. It doesn't mean that it's the best one. She's used in fighting games. She's used, She's been used in two fighting games. She's been used in a ton of gacha game stuff, which I haven't even played all of, all of them. But I I would scroll through sometimes looking for new games on my phone on on Play Store, and there would be like, yeah, uh, collab with uh, near Automata, pull for near Autom pull for two B. I, I went and downloaded the game because I was interested in 2B and then never got 2B and then stopped playing the game. But the difference between that is I think that most likely the only reason why I even went for, into the game wasn't because I was interested in the game at all. It was because 2B was in the game and I was like, oh, that's cool. Maybe I can get her. And even if I got 2B, I probably wouldn't still be playing the game. Because I was going to do it free to play. Because I'm like, I'm not spending a bunch of money to pull a character in this game. But I, I would almost believe that someone, if it's their main character, they would pull for that character 
in this game. And, th and then continue to play the game. Because near Automata, I mean, excuse me, Zenla Zone Zero and Street Fighter, very close cousins. Because, you know, they're fighting. They're fighting in this game. They have combos. They have parries. They have dodges. They have button pressing. They have, you're, you're pressing buttons the whole time. The actions in the game look really cool. Like, th these are things that we're interested in in fighting games. You make stuff look cool. Dude, I'm only six minutes into this fucking video. And it's, so it's an hour in. That, this is, that this doesn't make any sense. That's a fair statement. Now, before I start the video, I also want to give a little bit of glazing here. Tekton is a legendary figure in the gotcha space. He has made some serious waves in these waters. Uh, he has built up. I, I can't even keep track of how many content creators he has built up and, and shed lights on, including my channel. He's even shed a light on my channel. Uh, the thing is, if this argument were the other way around and he was saying that gotcha players don't give a damn about fighting games, I wouldn't even be having this discussion because I respect Tekton's well-versed and extensive knowledge in this space and uh, the tenure that he's been in this space. Uh, as I said, he's a very intelligent individual, and often at times I agree with the majority of his takes. The problem, the underlying issue is that Tectone is not that figure in the fighting game community. In fact, I would argue he's probably an amateur based off of the responses he gave in this video. So okay. to speak on behalf of the fighting game community is that goes back to those quotes I brought up earlier. You know, to speak about things and pretend you know those that you do not, or to open your mouth about a situation you don't fully understand, that is the definition of ignorance. So with that being- Just because I don't understand the fighting game community doesn't mean I don't understand that games that are more similar will have better crossover. No, that, that doesn't, that doesn't, no, no, nope. Because near Automata, just because it is more similar to the game doesn't mean it'll have more crossover. You can have more, like, you can have a higher percentage, right? You can have a higher percentage of crossover with near Automata, but if it's a smaller group of people than a larger group of people, like, you can have, like, 30% of the, the cross, you can have 30% of the community crossover from Street Fighter, right, in fighting games than near automata's 70 percent and it would be more people because there's a larger amount of people that resonate with street fighter than there are that resonate with near automata it's really not that deep being stated let's get into it this has got to smack being based okay here we go oh jesus christ here we go all right uh context of this post my most recent video discussed the potential collab between hoyo and capcom as usual, salty gotcha players are saying it won't succeed when it releases. Fighting game players don't care about gotcha games, etc. Um, I feel like that's a fair statement uh, for the for this part. So, fighting game players don't care about gotcha games. He feels like that's a fair statement. I feel like this is fair to say, uh, and I'll explain why that is. Uh, this is also hilarious because gotcha players do do this constantly. Uh, gotcha players trying to gather takes on what the fighting game community would or would not be interested in. Comedy of the week. I, I wonder why he feels that way. So the reason I feel that way is basically what I just said earlier. The comedy in it is that a gotcha player only cares about tits and ass and anime waifus. They don't know shit about what a fighting game community is interested in unless they themselves are a fighting game player. Uh, but that's the people I'm referring to. It's very important to have that context. This is the general gotcha player we are referring to. Uh, Hawkeye Star Rail won't do Gotcha gamers are more so casual. That's why it's on mobile and then hard. You have no idea how casual there are of some fighting game players. There are so many more casual fighting game players than there are hardcore fighting game players just because you're a fighting game player doesn't make you a hardcore fighting game player there are people who are hardcore players who are casual like basically me right at this point because i don't really enter as many tournaments and stuff as i used to so you have the the casual hardcore player which justin wong also considers himself a casual hardcore because like he doesn't really enter tournaments all that much anymore, but he plays a lot of different fighting games and likes a lot of different other other games, right? He likes playing, uh, and I think he's worked for uh, Dungeon Fighter before, and uh, which is very similar to what um, uh, uh, Zenless Zone Zero is, right? A beat em up, pretty much, right? So he plays that kind of game, and and fighting game players tend to like Zen. I mean, excuse me, Dungeon Fighter because it has very similar things. Two fighting games. It has combos, launchers, air combos, I'm pretty sure. And But you still have to level up. You still have to build your character correctly, right? You still don't get all of your moves in the beginning, just like how you have to build your character and you have to build up your stats in, in Zen Zone Zero and in gacha games, right? Except, except Dungeon Fighter is not a gacha game. It is an action combat game. Zen Zone Zero is also an action combat game. You have, like, it's like... There's a lot of fighting game players who like playing that game. I know some, I know a bunch of fighting game players who play Dungeon Fighter online, but it's just like 
dude, like why is why is this such a a a hard thing to understand that fighting game players like these types of games? It it it's it's so crazy to me that he's just like kind of just blowing this off. Hardcore uh, fighters for competitive games are a lot more competitive, right? So already you have a disconnect in that community. No, you don't. I'm not saying it can't exist, but there's already a disconnect. I mean, this shit is just, oh God, I feel like it's... Let me tell you what another thing fighting game players do. Fighting game players and people are, are competitive. They're very competitive. Fighting game players are very, very competitive. They will make anything a competition. Anything. Fighting game players will pick challenge mode at the beginning. Right, all of them. Even if they're not, even if they're not hardcore players, even if they're casual fighting game players, they will pick the hardcore mode or not hardcore mode or whatever it's called. What is it? What's it called? Challenge mode. They will pick challenge mode in Zone Zone Zero and play that way because that's the way I'm going to be playing. All right? They will, they will pick challenge mode probably to start out and just play through that. Play through it that way. They will sit there and be like, oh, I'll like like make it a competition. Who gets to the the end game first? Make it a competition on. Who has better characters than the other person? Make it a competition whether they pulled the characters that they wanted to pull or not. Like it doesn't matter what it is. There's been there's been tournaments for uh, Catherine, which is not a fighting game. It is not even close to a fighting game if you look at it. And there have been tournaments. People have run tournaments for Catherine at fighting game events. I have no idea why. I don't play Catherine. But there have been tournaments for that game run at a fighting game event because they just want to make a competition out of it. They, it doesn't matter what the game is. They, they will just play shit. There's, there are fighting game players that just sit there and play freaking Mario Kart in the room because they, they just have it. They're like, yo, I got Mario Kart. You can't play. Like, it's It's insane. There's there's so much overlap for Zen Zone Zero in the fighting game. It's so baby Mickey Mouse level to explain. Succeed, best selling gotcha game the majority so, of the year. Uh, it's yeah. so baby Mickey Mouse level to understand this. When somebody is literally laying it out for you. Of course, we all do that. Uh, people who work dubbed this. One way ways will succeed being over 100 million dollars in the first or 100 million in the first month and seeking more enjoyment. With overwhelming success. Of course, yeah, we all predict this. Of course, we all said we, we said both of these things. Uh, Zone Zone Zero will fail. I have not been saying that. I've been saying Zone Zone Zero is going to do great due to the fact that it's a whole title. Uh, do we see a trainer? Yes, self created experts in marketing game directory. Fighting game players don't care about a gacha game. I was only a massive fighting game player, and before I give you the best, guys can do what it was. So was EO. EO got running. Okay, so that's two people. Two people saying we like fighting games, so that means everybody likes fighting games. This is a really thing. And here's where we're going to take the issue. I'm going to cook a little bit longer. Uh, I'm going to just keep it back. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to I'm going to break something down here. So before he goes into <laughs> uh, a guy, a guy scores a goal in soccer, but that was a nice shot. I forgot. That's, 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 that's irrelevant. Um, I'm going to break. I'm going to break something down real quick. Just okay. I just wanted to get him off that screen. Anyways, here's my problem with the rebuttal that he made there. He said that that's just two people. Now, what he's implying here is that I need to uh, summon the entirety of the fighting game community to vouch for the same thing, thing that I said in order to make it valid, which I think is an absolute, uh, not only unrealistic and delusional take, it's just... No, it's not unreasonable. It's not delusional. What I'm saying is when you state one person feels one thing, that means that everybody feels that same way. So how many people, how many people need to say something before you understand that the group consensus on that thing is true? So if you take a poll, right, and you can't use a poll of your own chat, right? You can't use a poll of your own chat because your own chat is mostly gotcha players. You're, 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 you're the mostly the people in your chat are gotcha players, not fighting game players. Now, if you go into a fighting game players chat and use a poll and be like, hey, would you guys be interested in playing Zenless Zone Zero? Not ask them, do they know about Zenless Zone Zero? Because then you'd probably get most people would be like, no, I don't know what Zenless Zone Zero is. But if you ask those people, would you be interested in playing Zenless Zone Zero? And then those people go look up Zenless Zone Zero. They're like, oh, man, I, I know that they would say, oh, yeah, I would. Yeah, yeah, it looks, looks pretty cool. Looks like a cool game. I'd give it a shot. I guarantee that's what the answer would be. I can't do it because I'm not that big. I'm I'm very small, tiny little shrimp fish, nobody. So I can't do it. But if you take that poll and put it in Maximilian Dude's chat, or you take that poll, you put it in 
uh, Justin Wong's chat. You take that poll and you put it in any fighting game player's chat. I guarantee if you ask them, would you guys be interested in playing Zenless Zone Zero? They would say yes. Majority would say yes. It, it is quite literally just look at the demographic, look what the players are interested in, see what you don't know what the players are interested in, what can overlap and what doesn't, and then see what has the most overlap. I'm gonna say that you don't know what has the most overlap because you are not a fighting game player, you're not a, in the fighting game community, you're not part of the fighting game community, you've never been part of the fighting game community. Just because you play fighting games or you've played them in the past doesn't make you part of the fighting game community. I like. Some people will say that. They'll be like, oh, yeah, you know, you you play fighting games. You play this game. You're part of fighting games. No, until, you, until you've actually, like, gone out to some events or you've, like, played extensively with people and you understand fighting games. Like, you've, you've really put the effort into being a fighting game player. That's when I feel like that's the people that we're talking about. The people that have – or, or in specifically, if we're talking about Street Fighter, people that play Street Fighter often, right? People that play Street Fighter often. If we, if we have to talk about everything else, because it's like, oh, well, yeah, I played I played Street Fighter once, then I'm part of the fighting game community. I played, I played uh, like, my friend Chris. My friend Chris, he, he has Street Fighter. He has, I'm pretty sure he has Street Fighter 6, and he has Street Fighter 5. He has Street Fighter 5, and he wanted to learn, um, he wanted to learn Fang, but he, he didn't know how to charge. He doesn't know how to charge attack. He doesn't know how to use his charge moves. So he, he never learned Fang, because he said charging is harder... Doing charge moves is harder than doing fireballs. I, I don't consider him a part of fighting game community. He's played Tekken his entire life. I try to invite him out to come to tournaments to understand, like the the other people that are actually really really good at Tekken. When we when I first started and I wasn't playing Tekken and he could beat me at Tekken because I didn't really play and I didn't take Tekken seriously. But when Tekken Eight came out and I and I take Tekken seriously. And then I play him, I beat him. And I'm not even good. You put me in the general consensus, the general area of like the fighting game community, I'm pretty, pretty low, low on the totem pole when it comes to fighting games. But I've been a part of the fighting game community for 14 plus years. So don't you think that going out to events and making a lot of friends and hanging out with these people very often talking to talking to people that play fighting games every day don't you think i would understand what some people would be interested in what they would like this eighteen thousand times throughout this video it's just a it's just a bad rebuttal uh if one or two people are well versed and have extensive knowledge in a field of expertise one or two people is all you need often at times when you go to uh take care of anything in your life you're going to talk to one or two people uh, if i wanted to know about the uh, ufc i can go talk to any diehard ufc fan and get the general consensus about the ufc See, if I yeah, and it's going to be overly biased. It doesn't matter if it's biased. It doesn't matter if it's biased. Like, what? It's going to be biased because they like UFC. If they like UFC, they're going to tell you. They're going to tell you. Okay, do you, do you're like, oh, do you what do what do UFC people like? Not who do you like. It's not going to be biased to where they're, they're going to be like, oh, well, we're going to tell you a bunch of stuff that that only only people who like this one. Uh, uh, wrestler like, or or excuse me, this one UFC fighter likes, right? We're we're gonna, we're gonna tell you only stuff that this one UFC uh, uh, fans of this one UFC fighter likes, right? No, they're gonna they're gonna tell you, oh well, these are the people that are pretty good in the space, right? If you talk to a couple of different people, right, you talk to somebody who is maybe a fan of this one person, maybe a fan of this other person, you could take those biased takes of people that are, are in different parts of the the ufc fan like fandom or whatever and you'll be able to piece it together to fully understand what people would like because even though that one person might be a fan of one player or excuse me even though somebody might be a fan of one ufc fighter somebody might be a fan of another ufc fighter they will definitely have some type of crossover in the things that they like because they both like ufc fights Right, they both like us. That you can actually infer. If if somebody's a fan of this one fighter and somebody's a fan of this other fighter, and they're like, "No, my fighter is better. No, my fighter is better. Your fighter is trash. Your fighter is garbage." Hey, do you guys enjoy watching UFC? Yes. They will both say yes. That is the same thing for like, I don't know, for like for like anime in the fighting game community. For most, no, you know, I'm not even gonna say anime in the fighting community because that's that's not that's not a guaranteed thing. 
but like it would be more like it would be more like in Street Fighter. Like if you if somebody is like a huge fan and they've been playing Cammy for eight years, and this other person is a huge fan of Street Fighter and they've been playing uh uh Akuma for for ten years, right? They, you ask them, hey, do you guys like Street Fighter? Yeah. There's they're 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 gonna there's good there there's bias if you ask them, hey, what characters are better? What characters do you have an issue with? What characters suck? You're going to have biased answers. But if you ask them, hey, what, uh, uh, you guys, do you guys like Street Fighter? Do you guys like anime? There's a very high chance that both of them will say yes. In the fighting game community, there's a high chance that if you ask two people, do they like anime, they will say yes. If you ask me, do I like anime? I'm like, oh, well, you know, I, I watch anime a little bit. I'm a, I'm a light watcher. You know, I, I watch some things. But then you ask somebody else in the fighting game community, they might be like, oh, I watch everything. I watch all types of stuff. I watch the most, the most obscure anime. And, I, I, and then you ask somebody else, they're like, yeah, I watch anime, but I don't watch, uh, I don't watch any like, mainstream stuff. I only watch like, like really, really obscure things that people haven't heard about. All those people like anime in the fighting game community, but they all like different things about the an different animes. They like watching different types of animes. So having a bias take, it depends on what you ask them, what type of bias takes you get. But if you ask, if you ask people, if you ask people in the same community, hey, what do people like and dislike in this community? You're going to get a biased answer, but you're going to get both things. Like if, if I ask Tectone, what do people hate in this community? And they tell me him, <laughs> what do people hate in the gotcha community? They hate him, and they and they hate anything that tries to compete with Genshin Impact. You ask somebody who loves Genshin Impact, who is a big creator in the space, you or you go ask uh, Reddit, what what do people hate in the Genshin? What do people hate in the Gacha community? They will tell me Tectone, right? Like they don't like Tectone. Tectone doesn't like the Reddit the Reddit people and the Twitter people. But they're both gonna give me the same answer. They hate Tectone. It's a, it's a, you get that answer because that's a, that's one of the main things in this community. It seems like Reddit and Twitter hate Tectone. Tectone hates Reddit and Twitter. You're that they're going to they're gonna give me the same answer. It's, there's no bias there. They both have an understanding that this thing is true. You just have to ask a, you know, have a, like a nice subset of people to ask in the fighting game community. Hey, what do you think? Do people in the fighting game community like anime? Do people in the fighting game community do you think they would like a game like Zen Zone Zero? You will get honest answers if you're asking people. If you, not, if you ask them what do they like, you ask them what do you think the fighting game community would like. Somebody who doesn't like Zenla Zone Zero might say, hey, yeah, the fighting game community probably would like something like this. I just don't play gacha games. Somebody else might be like, yo, I've been waiting for this game. Yes, I think the fighting game community would love this game. And, and that's the general consensus, I think, in the fighting game community that most people would like Zenla Zone Zero in the fighting game community. There's, there's a huge overlap. Huge. Just in Street Fighter, there's a huge overlap. Much larger than near Automata. Bias because you just said you were talking to a diehard fan. I wanted to know about gacha games. I can go and talk to Tekton as, a, as somebody who doesn't know anything about gacha games. Say, hey, Tech, what's the, uh, the gacha community like? I can grab. And you're going to get a very biased opinion. Gather maybe two or three content creators in the gacha community and they'll give me the entire rundown with clarity and they'll be pretty goddamn spot on about with insane bias the uh the temperature of the community's interest what sparks their passion and why they are interested in gacha games the same thing that's why I'm, that's why it's important to not talk about super fans that's why it's very important to talk to a, a general consensus of casual new players old players medium players in order to get a full opinion it's just not that complicated guys so if that's the case why do you think that you know without talking to a bunch of different players? Why do you not think that somebody who is in this space or has been in this space for an extended period of time would not 
have talked to people who are new players and 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 medium players and extreme extreme players or you know people that have been in the space or super fan like why do you think that all of those things wouldn't be thought of in the head when we when we say the fighting game community because I, I feel like the only time the only thing that people think of when they hear fighting game community of outside of the people who play fighting games is only the top players or only the really really um competitive high skill players when we say the fighting game community and i'm thinking about the fighting game community i'm thinking about all of the people in the fighting game community the the the, the people who play all the time and aren't that good the people who play all the time and are intermediate players the people who try out all different types of fighting games the people who try out you know only certain types of fighting games and there's only maybe like a handful of like niche in the fighting game community that I think wouldn't like Zenless Zone Zero, and that's like the NRS community. And that's not even all of them. Thing goes for anybody in the fighting game space. Uh, I don't know how anybody thinks this is a video cooking me, but like, God, this shit is just so irritating that I have to watch. The only reason why I am somebody. Not in fact, give me a second here. I'll go ahead and type it out real you quick. You just okay, acting so like all the fighting games. I've everything he says is lifetime. invalid. Uh, now, anybody who is a fighting game fanatic will look at that uh, resume, if you want to call it, and come to the conclusion that I am far from a novice in fighting games. Uh, this is not like a flex or anything. This is, this is to prove to you that somebody who's played these amounts of fighting games has played a shit ton of ranked matches, has played against a lot of fighting game players. You understand this shit intrinsically. I've also played a shit ton of fighting games. You understand yes, it. Yes, but you're not, just because you've played a shit ton of fighting games doesn't mean that you know and understand them intrinsically. It just, it, it, it doesn't mean anything. It's like, I've played a ton of, a ton of different gacha games. I'm not a gacha game player. I'm not, I'm not there yet. I don't, I barely understand Withering Waves. Like, I, I only understand Withering Waves at a very basic level right now. Like, like enough to get to level 40 and understand what I want on my characters, kind of how to put a team together, right? And, like, how to, how to look at the different outro and intro, like, outro skills, because the intro skills don't really do anything super special. But I'll look at the outro skills and tell, okay, well, what character do I want to be my point character? What character do I want to be my my uh, anchor or whatever, or my support and stuff like that, right? What characters do I want to go where? How do I want to use them? Uh, what would be the best ways to to use them together, right? And um, build a team and stuff like that. Like So I, I, I have a small understanding. But, like, if I switch over to another game, like Honkai, excuse me, like Honkai Star Rail, right, where I went on that game and got Firefly because I thought she looked really cool and I wanted that character. And I was like, if I don't get this character on this pull, then I'm not playing this game. Um, <laughs> so I got her and I play this game very, very, very casually, mind you, uh, much less than I play uh, um, Withering Waves. But I still play it, and I probably will play it even less once Zenless Zone Zero comes out because I'll be playing Withering Waves and Zenless Zone Zero while also playing Street Fighter and Tekken. Like, <laughs> so, dude. Profoundly, everything about a fighting game that makes a fighting game enjoyable, I'm going to know about it because I've played way too much. Same thing with Tekton when it comes to a gacha game. If you talk to Tekton about gacha games, he can tell you precisely why people enjoy them, what's good about them, what's bad about them, because he's well-versed in that realm. So when you use the one or two people is a bad or shit take argument, it's actually a shit take to say that in and of itself, because if those one or two people are absolute experts in the space... Bro, you look so dead inside. Yeah, because this shit is just... It's so, it's so crazy. It's so crazy that, like, that, like, Tekton can't see what he's saying and be like, okay, you know, I can understand that. Like, he's not even agreeing with anything that he says, like, at all. He's just, like blowing it off like at least give my man the respect to like be like you know i get where you're coming from you know what i mean like like that's crazy it's like like not at all like he's just like oh all this is stupid this is dumb i don't i did what he's saying doesn't make any sense and it's like how are you telling him when he's literally laying this shit out literally i'm i'm like i have a headache I'm so tired of like reacting to this. Like, do you, like just like he's tired of reacting to this. I'm tired of reacting to this because, it, like, it, he's just ignoring. Like, he's just ignoring. I'm gonna go a few more minutes because, like, in fact, I'm not. I'm not. I'm. I'm gonna stop it here because, like, to to the point where I got was halfway through. I got halfway through, and I and I can't. I can't react to this whole thing. We've been out here for an hour and forty fourteen minutes, and I'm a twelve minutes into this video. You you should you should get my my 
my point. This it just does not it just does not make any sense how like how ignorant like it comes off that he's just blowing off everything that Gotcha Smack says about this. In in so that he can say that this is not the best crossover. And there could be better crossovers, and then say near automata, which is a smaller subset of people than Street Fighter has, period. Near Automata hasn't touched making a game. Like, they haven't come out with another game ever. They've just been doing collabs because they just do collabs because people like 2B. People like 2B. Like, it, it, you don't have... Like there's, not a, there's not a larger amount of people that like 2B than there is a, a amount of people that like Street Fighter. Like, you just can't... Like, and I, and I would... And, and I would be the first one to tell you that fighting games as a whole are not as big as other genres. Near Automata is not an entire genre. It is one game with one character that people care about. And I'm pretty sure that Near Automata was said to him in his chat because when I was watching that, that's where he got the idea to say to be from Near Automata. I'm pretty sure. And if it wasn't, it still doesn't still doesn't make any sense. Please pick another game. Like if you're gonna say there's a better game that you could pick as a collab for Zenla Zone Zero. Please pick a better game than Near Automata just because people, you know, people are interested in 2B because they are, she's been in a bunch of collabs. That doesn't mean there are more people to get to garner from that niche. 2B, one character as a niche is not going to bring in more people than Street Fighter is. Period. Period. 